at Steve Morris Engines. I'm Steve Morris and this is an engine that we built for uh, Paul Petalotis in uh, Australia. And this is one of our LS uh, packages. This is a thousand horsepower pump gas. Uh, we run it on C85 too. It makes a little more horsepower on C85. But uh, primarily pump gas tune-up. Uh, like I said, our thousand horsepower package. So uh, based off of LS3 uh, has our internal uh, rotating assembly, camshaft profile of course, and we still use the stock intake, stock throttle body, uh, coil on plug. Um, now this has our single um, e exhaust system for it, single turbo exhaust system. You can see right there. Now this is kind of for a hot rod setup. You can't make uh, a turbo kit that fits everything. In fact, it's hard to make it fit anything uh, more than one at a time. But anyways, uh, that's our system there for single turbo, kind of a hot rod kit. They might have to do a little bit of modifying. Uh, his mechanic is uh, Michael Ellis uh, down there in Australia, and he'll be doing the install and uh, probably some fab work and doing some of the tuning on it, or finish tuning once it's in the car. So clearly it's on the dyno, so we're tuning it here and getting everything all sorted out. Uh, this has a Holly, or I'm sorry, it has a Haltech, not Holly, Haltech uh, EFI system. So we're doing a lot of tune work with those right now, and uh, it's actually a pretty good system. I, I, I'm happy with how that all works. That's really cool. Um, you can see here that it's intercooled, um, air to air intercooler, and that is one of our 70 billet wheel 75 millimeter turbos. Uh, that's the Steve Morris edition turbo. Uh, real nice piece. Uh, like I said, uh, let me think here. Uh, turbo Smart. Uh, we use all Turbo Smart stuff. They're good buddies of ours. Um, Bullseye Power does the tur does the turbos for us, and that's our name branded one from Bullseye Power. And like I said, real nice piece, um, but our good general thousand horsepower pump gas deal, uh, daily driver drive it back and forth uh, anywhere you're gonna want to go. So, anyways, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set the uh, camera down outside the room, and we'll make dyno pull on this thing. And we'll show you the numbers. Now, like I said, we got it right at the uh, at a thousand horsepower level, um, easy uh, horsepower deal, and we'll uh, uh, show you the numbers on pump gas. I showed you right there was uh, uh, I know some of you guys like to see the headers get hot and stuff but really what that's actually doing um, it typically is from just a well there does always build a lot of heat but uh, you can really make stuff get red really quick uh, by uh, especially in pump gas because you take a little bit of timing out make things safe and uh, typically we're maybe just a little bit richer than what we would be on on a uh, like a C16 or Q16 but anyways uh, here you go. That's that that pull right there. And like I said, this is our thousand horsepower deal. And uh, you can see right down there, that is a thousand eleven horsepower, thousand twelve basically, at sixty three hundred RPM. It just kind of uh, lays right over here. And what you'll actually you'll see is that's pretty common because that's what the turbo is doing. Now I just have uh, uh, pressure on top of the gate. And as you can see up here, that's uh, the pump gas tune with twelve psi, and that's four psi on the gate. And uh, peak torque 943, and uh, peak horsepower uh, 1011. So pretty good piece. Uh, really quite happy with it. But like I said, that's our normal deal. 
Uh, that's a real nice easy package for us. Uh, that is a good all around piece that goes anywhere. Uh, we have run this on, C, on uh, C85, so E80, E85 basically. Uh, we use the can variety. We don't usually like to do anything out of the pump, but uh, use it right out of the can from a VP or a good quality uh, vendor of fuel. And uh, uh, this thing actually starts running out of injector because it has a little too small injector to make more horsepower on uh, E85. Uh, it could make more horsepower if I really want to turn it up some if we put uh, C16 in it, something like that. But uh, on E80, E85, it made uh, 1061. And uh, so let me uh, see if I can get that up here for you. Uh, let's see. Here, let's just graph it. Did it. There, actually, let's go back the other way. Uh, I can get that C85 tune up for you. There we go. Yeah, there you go. It made uh, 1061. You can see right down there at 6200. Looking good. It picked up, uh, you know, 50, 60 foot pounds of torque now. So that's the exact same tune up, uh, just with a <coughs> fueled conversion. Uh, converting it over to E85. Uh, and like I said, with using that much more fuel to do E85, uses uh, uses up the injector. So we need a bigger injector if we wanted to be much over that horsepower. And we don't typically like to run these things uh, that 1,000 horsepower package at like 1,500 horsepower, uh, or even 1,300 horsepower. But typically, you know, it'll be in that 1,000 to uh, 1,100 horsepower, nice and easy. Same boost, you know, just good, easy, steady, uh, 12 pounds of boost. Uh, but real good piece super happy with that thing and uh, I'm sure uh, uh, Paul will really like it down there in Australia and uh, anyways I'm Steve Morris at Steve Morris engines have a great day